Hello everyone, it's Lynn. Welcome back to my crafty corner. Um, I'm going to make a, well, using up my scraps today and strips, strips and scraps. Um, I don't know what you'd call it. It's a bit of a pinwheel type thing, I think. Anyway, we'll see what to call it at the end, maybe. So I've got a five by five card base. Might do it tent fold, might do it normal fold, we'll see. And I've got a piece of uh, card from some packaging. It was from, um, this one was from um, a, pa a card pad, as in um, Christmas papers, you know, 12 by 12 papers. Got some glue dots, I've got, oh, do excuse me. All of a sudden, I've got one of my blingy things that I made. My resin uh, embellishments, gems. I've made that in one of the other videos. So I've got some uh, strips of paper that I got. Well, I bought a pad from Hobbycraft and it has got uh, hues of lilac and purple. I'll show you with that one. Okay. Like this and it is look at all the scraps that I've got purple shades it's called purple shades and you get those five different colours ten sheets of each which I thought wasn't bad I can't remember how much it was I think it was four pounds four pounds fifty or five pounds I can't remember it wasn't much anyway so I've cut them into half inch strips and we're going to, I've got um, a square here which is one and a half by one and a half and we're just going to glue that into the middle as a diamond. Because diamonds are a girl's best friend, not as much as dimensional. Dimension is a girl's best friend, she's a crafter's best friend. So I've put um, the mark to the centre and I'm just putting my corners on each of the lines. So that's that one. Now we're going to start off with the, I'll put these into piles. Mm, different colours, light to dark. Light to dark, is that that one? On, that's that one. That's that one. And that's the darkest. And what we're going to do is, we're going to put some glue. I'm not going to go all the way along because it's going to stick off the end. And we're going to line up that end with there. And just pop it on. Oops, slippy sliding. Slip sliding away. Mm -hmm. We don't want to hear that then. And then just glue that down. And then we're going in with the next colour. And we just, in fact, yeah, put it on there then. Might be easier. And we're just lining that up. Oops, put them up against one another. Next colour. You could put um, double sided adhesive sheets on, on your paper, but you have got no leeway once you've, uh, when you put it down. Like here, you can wriggle it a little bit. But if you put uh, double-sided paper down, uh, double-sided tape, you haven't got any wriggle room whatsoever. Put that on there, put it up against there. Oops, see, I can move that, slide it in. Oh, 
and the darkest one. Right, we'll sort that out. Whoops! We'll sort that little bit out at the end. But now I'm going to get off, turn it round, and do the same on this side. I'm not going to bore you with showing you it all the way around, so I shall come back in the rolly mill. Okay, so I've snipped all the edges off as I've gone along and gone all the way around, and now I'm going to just snip these off. Save the bits, you can use them again for something else. The scrap pile, I tell you, never gets any smaller. <clears throat> and then just that little corner where you can see a bit of the card underneath. I'm just going to stick a tiny bit on like I've done on the others, on the other corners. So I'll just pop a little bit of glue on that. And get one of these little off cuts. I'll use that one slightly bigger. And stick that on there. Let that dry. Now, if you want, in the centre, you can add, um, do another one of uh, these squares and uh, hire it up, uh, hire it up, give it a dimension uh, and put a centre on it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put a flowers on it. And I've cut out my gorgeous daisies. I love my daisy punch from Stamping Up. I will never, ever get rid of that punch. Never, ever, ever. I love it too much. And I think I'm going to layer it up like this. I think. And that is just going to go. Or shall I do two? I've got two separate ones. Oh, that looks better. That looks better. Get me the bone folder. Give them a bit of dimension. Oh, I've got to be careful because I have a habit of pulling the petals off of this. Unfortunately. I've just chosen two of the colours from the uh, background. Just to make these up. And then I'll get my little uh, rubber mat. Just pop you up there. It just gives them a wee bit of... I want... I want one with a big ball on the end. You got to have a big ball for doing this. <laughs> One, two, ah, I've only got one of those, haven't I? Oh, I might have to get another one out then. Three, four. I forgot about that. Yes, that's what they're supposed to have. So I have to just do one big one in the middle. Let me just rummage. Okay, let's glue these together. This one I'll do the other way around. No, with the light one on the bottom and the dark one on the top then. Just 
just move a little bit. Something so simple as layering a flower up and I make it look really hard. <laughs> oh dear. Right, tell you what, we'll snip that off first. Tidy it up. I think they look good. Squash it with a big ball. Big ball. Big ball. Right, now these bad boys, they don't have any sticky on the back, so I thought I'd use glue dots. See if that works. There it is. Is it going to come off? Oh, flipping heck. Oh, it's stuck on my finger. Looking good. Can't get the thing off now. There we go. There we go. Fluff them up a bit. Won't matter, will it, really? It's going to get squished in the envelope. So, I think I'll do tenfold. Now, you could put, you could stamp a sentiment on there if you wish, or up there. Or you can just put a sentiment on it, wherever you like. I'm just leaving it free for now and then I'll decide what I want to put on it at a later date. It might go for in my dad's bag because he's got a load of cards. Who needs a load of cards off me? So there we are. Using scraps and packaging. That's quite a pretty card, I think, anyway. You could put more flowers in, you could put another one in. The power of three. Yeah, well. And I've used my own homemade bling. Woohoo! A bling. Okay, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please give me, uh, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I shall see you next time that I come on. Oh, and if you do subscribe, Please press the notification bell and this, after you've pressed the subscription button. And thank you again for watching. Take care of yourself and your loved ones and I shall see you next time. Thank you. Bye.